Singhasari Javanese, Karatan Singhasari or Karatan Singhasari, Indonesian, Karajan Singhasari was an Indianized Javanese Hindu Buddhist kingdom located in East Java between 1222 and 1292 today Indonesia. The kingdom succeeded the kingdom of Kediri as the dominant kingdom in eastern Java. The kingdom's name cognate to Singhasari district of Malang Regency, located several kilometers north of Malang city. Etymology Singhasari alternate spelling, Singhasari was mentioned in several Javanese manuscripts, including Para Ashan. According to tradition, the name was given by Ken Eric during the foundation of the new kingdom to replace its old name, Tumapal, located in a fertile highland valley which today corresponds to the area in and around Malang city. It derives from Sanskrit word Singha which means lion and sari which in Old Javanese could mean either essence or to sleep. Thus singhasari could be translated as essence of lion or sleeping lion. Although the lion is not an endemic animal of Java, the symbolic depiction of lions is common in Indonesian culture, attributed to the influence of Hindu-Buddhist symbolism. Topic. Foundation. Singhasari was founded by Ken Eric 1182-1227-1247, whose story is a popular folktale in Central and East Java. Most of Ken Eric's life story and also the early history of Singhasari was taken from the Para Ashan account, which also incorporates some mythical aspects. Ken Eric was an orphan born of a mother named Ken Endik and an unknown father some tales stated he was a son of God Brahma in Kediri Kingdom's territory. Ken Eric rose from being a servant of Tungal Amadung, a regional ruler in Tumapal present-day Malang to becoming ruler of Java from Kediri. He is considered the founder of the Rajasa dynasty of both the Singhasari and later the Majapahit line of monarchs. He was assassinated by Anusapati, in revenge for killing his father, Tungul Amadung. Ken Eric's son Panji Tajaya assassinated Anusapati, but he in turn reigned only a few months in 1248 before his nephews revolted. These two, Ranga Wani and Mahisha Champaka, ruled together under the names Vishnuvardhana and Narasimhamurti. Topic: <laughs> Expansion. In the year 1275, the ambitious king Kirtanagara, the fifth ruler of Singhasari who had been reigning since 1254, launched a peaceful naval campaign northward towards the weak remains of the Srivijaya in response to continuous Ceylon pirate raids and Chola Kingdom's invasion from India which conquered Srivijaya's Kita in 1025. The strongest of these Malaya kingdoms was Jambi, which captured the Srivijaya capital in 1088, then the Dharmasraya kingdom, and the Temasek kingdom of Singapore, and then remaining territories. The expedition is named the Pamalayu expedition was led by Admiral Mahesa Anabrang aka Adwaya Brahman to the Malaya region, and was also intended to secure the Malayan Strait, the Maritime Silk Road against potential Mongol invasion and ferocious sea pirates. These Malayan kingdoms then pledged allegiance to the king. King Kirtanagara had long wished to surpass Srivijaya as a regional maritime empire, controlling sea trade routes from China to India. The Pamalayu expedition from 1275 to 1292, from the time of Singhasari to Majapahit, is chronicled in the Javanese scroll Nagarakartagama. Singhasari's territory thus became Majapahit territory. In the year 1284, King Kirtanagara made a hostile Pabali expedition to Bali, which integrated Bali into the Singhasari Kingdom's territory. The king also sent troops, expeditions and envoys to other nearby kingdoms such as the Sunda Gala Kingdom, Pahang Kingdom, Balakana Kingdom Kalimantan, Borneo, and Gurun Kingdom Maluku. He also established an alliance with the King of Champa Vietnam. King Kirtanagara totally erased any Srivijayan influence from Java and Bali in 1290. However, the expansive campaigns exhausted most of the kingdom's military forces and in the future would stir a murderous plot against the unsuspecting King Kirtanagara. Topic. Conflict with the Mongol 
Indonesia is one of the few areas in Asia that thwarted invasion by the Mongol horde by repelling a Mongol force in 1293. As the center of the Malayan Peninsula trade winds, the rising power, influence, and wealth of the Javanese Singhasari Empire came to the attention of Kublai Khan of the Mongol Yuan dynasty based in China. Moreover, Singhasari had formed an alliance with Champa, another powerful state in the region. Both Java Singhasari and Champa were worried about Mongol expansion and raids against neighboring states, such as their raid of Bagan Pagan in Burma. Kublai Khan then sent emissaries demanding submission and tribute from Java. In 1280, Kublai Khan sent the first emissary to King Kirtanagara, demanding Singhasari's submission and tribute to the Great Khan. The demand was refused. The next year in 1281, the Khan sent another envoy, demanding the same, which was refused again. Eight years later, in 1289, the last envoy was sent to demand the same, and Kirtanagara, refused to pay tribute. In the audition throne room of the Singhasari court, King Kirtanagara humiliated the Khan by cutting and scarring Meng Qi's face, one of the Mongols' envoys. Some sources even state that the king cut the envoy's ear himself. The envoy returned to China with the answer the scar of the Javan king written on his face. Enraged by this humiliation and the disgrace committed against his envoy and his patience, in late 1292 Kublai Khan sent 1,000 war junks for a punitive expedition that arrived off the coast of Tuban, Java in early 1293. King Kirtanagara, whose troops were now spread then and located elsewhere, did not realize that a coup was being prepared by the former Kediri royal lineage. Fall of Singhasari In 1292, Duke Jayakatwang, a vassal king from the Kingdom of Daha also known as Kediri or Jeling Jeling, prepared his army to conquer Singhasari and kill its king if possible, assisted by Arya Vraraja, a regent from Sumanep on the island of Madura. The Kediri Jeling Jeling army attacked Singhasari simultaneously from both north and south. The king only realized the invasion from the north and sent his son-in-law, Nararya Sangramawajaya, famously known as Raiden Wajaya, northward to vanquish the rebellion. The northern attack was put at bay, but the southern attackers successfully remained undetected until they reached and sacked the unprepared capital city of Kutaraja. Jayakatwang usurped and killed Kirtanagara during the Tantra sacred ceremony, thus bring a tragic end to the Singhasari kingdom. Having learned of the fall of the Singhasari capital of Kutaraja due to Kediri's treachery, Raiden Wajaya tried to defend Singhasari but failed. He and his three colleagues, Rangalave, Sora and Nambi, went to exile under the favor of the same regent Bupati Arya were Raja of Madura, Nambi's father, who then turned his back to Jayakatwang. With Arya were Raja's patronage, Raiden Wajaya, pretending to submit to King Jayakatwang, won favor from the new monarch of Kediri, who granted him permission to open a new settlement north of Mount Arjuna, the Tariq Forest. In this wilderness, Wajaya found many bitter maha fruits, so it was called Majapahit, literally meaning bitter maha, the future capital of the empire. The beginning of Majapahit Empire Early 1293, the Mongol naval forces arrived on the north coast of Java near Tuban and on the Brantas River mouth to flank what they thought was Singhasari. Raiden Wajaya found the opportunity to use the unsuspecting Mongols to overthrow Jayakatwang. Raiden Wajaya's army allied with the Mongols in March 1293 and battle ensued between Mongol forces against Daha forces in the creek bed of Kali Mas River, a distributary of Brantas River, which was followed by the battle of Mongol forces against Daha forces that attacked the Majapahit regional army led by Raiden Wajaya. The Mongols then stormed Daha and Jayakatwang finally surrendered and was executed. Once Jayakatwang was eliminated, Raiden Vijaya then turned his troops on his former Mongol allies, forcing them to withdraw from the island of Java on 31 May 1293. The victor, Prince Wajaya, son-in-law of Kirtanagara, the last Singhasari king, then ascended the throne as Kirtahaza Jayawadana, the first king of the great Majapahit Empire, on 12 November 1293. Rulers of Singhasari Ken Eric 1222-1227 
Anusapati 1227 to 1248 Panji Tajaya 1248 Vishnuvardhana Narasimhamurti 1248 to 1268 Kirtanagara 1268 to 1292 Topic See also List of monarchs of Java Kittle Temple Jago Temple